We present a hybrid imaging system for capturing light field videos. Our setup consists of a DSLR and a Lytro Ulum camera. The DSLR captures a standard 2D video at 30 frames per second. Note the shutter sounds the Lytro camera generates, which are used to sync the two cameras. The Lytro camera captures a 3 frame per second sequence of 8x8 light field images. Our system then combines these two videos and generates a full light field video. Here's our output. We can stop at any frame and show different angular views, then continue to play. We can also refocus to anywhere while the video is playing. Later, we'll introduce a number of other applications using our system, such as focus tracking, aperture changing, and view changing. Next, we show side-by-side -side comparisons against two video interpolation methods, EpicFlow and FlowNet. We play the upper leftmost view of the resulting videos. For the first scene, we also show the different angular comparisons. Note that there is ghosting around the train head for results by other methods. For the rest of the scenes, we just play the video of one view. Note that the other methods produce visible artifacts around the moving objects. For example, around the face and the arms of the woman, and around the body and arms of the man. For this scene, again, other methods cannot handle the moving people, even with a still camera or while both the camera and the people in the scene are moving. Next, we show angular comparisons against depth transfer on our test set, where we have ground truth. Note that the results by depth transfer contain visible artifacts, while our results are very similar to the ground truth. In this scene, Note that depth transfer just shifts the images up and down and left and right, while our method captures the true parallax similar to the ground truth. Next, we show a challenging scene which contains many thin structures for the tree twigs. Note that our result has artifacts in the challenging regions, but is still very similar to the ground truth in most other regions. Next, we show angular comparisons on real-world scenarios taken with our prototype. Note that the results by depth transfer have very little parallax. So, when their result is used to refocus the video, the video is sharp everywhere. In this example, they only shift the image instead of producing true parallax. Note that the distances between the cats and the background remain the same, while in our results they change for different viewpoints. Again, their refocused video is sharp everywhere. Finally, we show four applications of using our system. The first is video refocusing. We can change the focal plane for any frame in the video. We can also refocus by clicking on any point in the image. Changing the focal plane is also possible when the video is playing. Here, we show a side-by-side -side comparison of using different focal planes, one focused on the man and one on the birds, one on the train and one on the background, one on the cat and one on the wall, one on the tree and one on the building. The second application is focus tracking. We have two modes of focusing, fixed point and tracking point. For fixed mode, the focal plane is fixed throughout the video. Note that the train gradually becomes out of focus as the video plays. In the tracking mode, we track the object using KLT between different frames and adaptively refocus on it. Note that the train now remains in focus throughout the video. Here, we show a side-by-side -side comparison of using different focusing modes, one fixed point and one tracking point. The third application is changing aperture. For any frame in the video, we can change the effective aperture to create different depths of field. 
We can also change the aperture while the video is playing. Here, we show a side-by-side -side comparison of using a big aperture and a small aperture. The last application is changing viewpoint. We can change the viewpoint by dragging the image for any still frame in the video, or while the video is playing. Thank you for watching the video.